So today I want to make a bit of a different video. I'm not going to connect any synth. I'm not going to turn on any machine, but I want to talk about Superboot. For those who don't know what that is, Superboot is the largest trade fair and festival for musical instruments where all the major manufacturers, but also independent small uh, labs that develop synths, effects, pedals, everything related to music technology and music making, reunite and showcase their latest stuff. And prototypes plus a bunch of amazing performances and today i want to take you on a short trip inside superboot 2024 show you my highlights and give you a taste of what superboot is and leave a message to all those bedroom producers like me that sometimes feel like they're spending many hours in the studio alone often at night so stick around till the end of the video and let's go to superboot 2024 What's up everybody, Solar J here. Let's start from the beginning of my journey in Superboot 2024, Berlin. The very first thing I stumbled upon is this weird vinyl player with magnets and every time a magnet passes below one of those sensors, a kick sample or a hat or a snare is, is triggered so you can play a bit with that vinyl. Then I started playing with this lovely, cute Vermona in one of the other boots around there really cute analog sound and I started getting a sense of what people do at Superboot they twist knobs everybody twists knobs all the time so I also wanted to go and twist some knobs but I ended up with this continuum figure board and I really wanted to try Amon Tobin one of my favorite artists is using it and it was really cool to touch it and and then I met some famous YouTuber. There's a lot of people you know because you've seen videos from them. After that, we stumbled in an amazing performance from Modgeist. Check the guy on Spotify. It's not big there, but his music was so good. Everything was analog, everything was modular. Uh, and it was very slick, function one sound system. Really cool set. Inside the building there was this completely acoustic weird instrument that you play with wet hands and there's no amplification, the sound that you hear is coming from here, these things. Korg next to it had some prototypes, very nice to see. And this is a torso electronic sampler and effector, really cool, I loved it. Plus some art, a Lego reconstruction of a drummer in the studio. Uh, everybody again is twisting knobs, connecting cables, and this is the vibe around Superboot. Everybody trying stuff all the time. And you could be one of them because it's not so crowded and you can try stuff quite easy. But sometimes it's just good to stop and see someone that can do better than me at least. My favorite room was the Moog room, of course, the best stylish and good looking one. And the Moog boot was centered around the Spectravox, their new, their new vocoder, filter, synthesizer creation, really cool. Then I went on the sequential boot and I told them that the Prophet 6 editor sucks and that they should do a better one. And he told me, oh, you're not the first person that tells me it's today. <laughs> Uh, yeah, some more knob twisting, people were connecting syntax with their stuff, chompy, really good looking, fun synthesizer and effects to play, and then it was time for Acid Boot. <laughs> you might recognize the guy on the left. jamming happening all the time, so cool. Plus, there's also space for weird art installations like this one. These very old looking instruments or this acoustic resonator coming from a Bulgarian traditional instrument. <laughs> and of course I paid a visit to the Electron boot, tried the Digitac 2 and Ableton, of course, and played around with the push tree. That was also cool. And this is 
probably know this synth, super expensive, super good sound, but check what happens when, did you see that? Let me play it slower. When you change presets, pew, the knob stirs automatically. Then we were very tired, almost out of energy. So it was time for a performance and she was amazing. Visuals were stunning, sounds was amazing. Everything modular. And on our way to the exit, there was some techno going on and I felt some Fusion Festival vibes. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour around Superboot 2024 from my point of view. And I would like to say something to all the bedroom producers like me. Uh, one of the most beautiful thing of my Superboot experience was to see and getting awareness of how big and great the community of music lover, music producer, music technology enthusiast is. Even though sometimes when you're alone in your bedroom, in the night, making music in your headphones because someone else is sleeping at your place, and you feel lonely, and you feel a lack of motivation to keep making best tracks, the best sound out of your setup, out of your workflow. Well, I want to remember in those times that out there, there is a community, there are people that love what we do, and you get to meet YouTubers that you spend time with them because you watch their tutorial to learn how to use your machines or your DAW, and they're there, you can talk to them, and they're all super nice, everybody's hyped, everybody is nice because we share this passion for music. So I strongly recommend you to plan a trip to Berlin next year in 2025 for Super Booth because it really feels like an amusement park for kids. And you get also a lot of merch. That said, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.